stolen blessing. Based on the book of Genesis chapter 25 verse 1 through chapter 28 verse 22. After a long and happy life, Abraham dies. Isaac buries Abraham's body beside his wife, Sarah. But Isaac, like his father, has gone a long time without having any children. Finally, Rebecca becomes pregnant with twins. When Rebecca gives birth, her first son is Esau. Clutching Esau's heel is Jacob, who does not want to be left behind. As the boys grow up, Isaac fails to see the conflict growing between his twin sons. Which one will be our ruler after Isaac? Esau is stronger, but Jacob is more clever. Esau has the birthright because he is the oldest. But I'd be surprised if Jacob doesn't do something tricky. If I were Isaac, I'd pay more attention to the competition between those two boys. One morning during a hot spell, Esau sets out for a hunting trip. This is the opportunity Jacob has been waiting for. Esau will find game at the water hole, miles away from here. When he gets back from the long day's hunt, he'll be tired and hungry. I'll be ready for him. Toward sundown, Jacob waits for his brother outside camp. Here he comes, and without any game. Didn't he catch anything? Camp, with its food, is only a short distance away. But Esau is so hungry, he can't wait. I'm starving. Give me some of the stew you're making. Will you trade your birthright for it? Is a birthright tasty and filled with savory meat? I'll take the stew. Here's the stew. Swear that your birthright is mine. I promise the birthright is yours. I'm dying of hunger. Let me eat. Here, eat all you want. Esau's birthright is mine. Someday, I will inherit a double share of my father's wealth. I will rule the tribe. Esau is Isaac's favorite son. Jacob realizes that somehow he must convince his father to give him the family blessing as well. Isaac doesn't know that Jacob has already claimed the birthright that belongs to Esau. Isaac has grown old. His eyesight is failing. He decides it is time to give Esau the blessing that includes ruling the tribe. You called me, Father? Yes, Esau. I am old and tired. Bring me some choice venison, and I will give you the blessing that seals your birthright. Listen, Jacob. Your father is getting ready to give Esau the blessing. You must get that blessing. But what can I do? Tell your father that you are Esau. He will bless you by mistake. Put on Esau's fur robe. These skins on your arms and neck will make you feel like Esau. Father, I have brought you the meat you asked for. Eat and give me your blessing. How did you hunt the food so quickly? Um, the Lord helped me. Yes, the Lord helps those who obey. Come near me so I can make sure you are my older son before I give the blessing. It's strange. The voice sounds like Jacob, but the hands are Esau's. Are you really Esau? Yes, I am. God give you the richness of the earth. Let the people serve you and nations bow down to you. Be master over your brothers. Cursed be everyone who curses you, and blessed be everyone who blesses you. Meanwhile, Esau returns, prepares the meat, and takes a large tray of it to his father. Father, eat the food I've brought you and bless me. Huh? Who are you? Who am I? I'm Esau, your firstborn son. You told me to bring you some venison so that you could give me your blessing. Then who did I just bless? I've been deceived. Father, bless me too, please. Bless me too. I can't. Once given, I cannot give the blessing to another. I'll kill Jacob for this. 
Isaac knows there will be trouble between his sons. He sends for Jacob. Ashamed but frightened by Esau's anger, Jacob comes to his father. Go to your uncle Laban. Find a wife from among his family. God bless you, my son. A few hours later, at the edge of the camp, Goodbye, Jacob. I'll send word when it's safe for you to come back. Traveling farther from his family, Jacob is tortured by loneliness. As night approaches, Jacob collapses in weariness. That night, he dreams of a shining stairway reaching up to heaven. On the stairway, angels go up and down as if bringing help from God. And Jacob hears God speak to him, promising to take care of him and bring him safely home again. The next morning, Jacob realizes the wrong he has done, but he knows that God will help him if he obeys him. Quickly, he turns a stone on end for an altar and worships God. He calls the place Bethel, which means the house of God. If God will go with me, I'll be God's man. 